hello friends hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel novatech videos and this is the series of windows server 2022 so in this video and demonstration i'll try to cover an important part which we generally come across as an administrator so today we are going to generate a certificate in different formats like .pem, .pam or .cer from a domain controller. So you would have realized that uh, in day-to-day -day operations, we come across in some of the scenario where any application team, they want to integrate their LDAP based uh, applications with Active Directory. So this is administrator duty to generate uh, LDAP based password, uh, sorry, certificate and share with the team. So they can add this newly gen gen generated certificate to their Apache services. So let's see how we can do it. So for this, I have a domain controller and uh, here I'll open the MMC and I'll showcase what are the certificates we already have. What we do not know which certificate to be used. Run MMC. Yes, add remove snapin. And we will check the certificate authority and computer accounts and let's finish. Okay, and here in personal, we do not have any uh, certificate, but uh, if we have any certificate authority, lo authority locally, so we can create the template and uh, for server authentication, client authentication, Kerberos authentication, we can deploy the certificate on domain controllers and also in trusted root certification so by default we have on this much certificate available only but uh, our goal is to create LDAP over SSL or LDAP certificate from uh, Active Directory domain controller so for that we would need uh, Windows uh, open SSL so you can download the open SSL from uh, the browser so we will need to install the open SSL on the domain controller from which you want to generate or create the certificate for LDAPs Windows Open SSL will not function properly without the component download the required D redistributable files. Yes. Oh, C22, and this is missing. So let me install and come back. I do not have internet, otherwise, I could have selected yes. It look like, looks like uh, this is fine and uh, the wizard is asking for the accepting uh, license agreement and that is fine. Okay, I will install it on the default path. Okay, open SSL, the Windows system directory, and this is fine and install it. So the open SSL is getting installed now. Let's wait to complete the wizard. So 
okay and finish set of so the open open SSL that is installed let's check it out where it is installed and which directory open file explorer and C drive program files open SSL here we will go into the bin and we can run this as administrator so we will execute one command here I'm getting this error uh, looks like we need uh, the C++ now let me install and come back download it and installing the C++ let it install successful and let's try the wizard one more time yes accept it let me cancel this and execute one more time to see if we are getting the same error again okay now this time there is no error next next default and install So I prefer to do everything live so that if there is any error we can fix it at the same time. Asking for donation, that's fine, click on finish. Let's close it and go to the same path again try to execute okay let's go to the path so I copied the path from here and CD we are on this path and then run open SSL CD open okay this is not specified and now we will execute a command this is open SSL command and we have to do some modifications in it open SSL S client and so search and connect to IP or AppQDN of Active Directory server and port number 636 so it will connect and download the certificate which is installed for LDAPs but in our case there is no LDAP certificate installed now oh, this is my domain and this is my domain controller Now let's copy this command and check it out if there is any certificate that is getting generated enter so as usual no certificate CNM sent or no peer certificate available as we see there is no certificate in personal for LDAP LDAP's query handling so what we will do now we will install the certificate authority on this server so how we can install the certificate authority on a server 
we can do it by running a wizard and before that let me tell you something this is my domain controller and uh, I'll install the certificate authority as well on the same server but if you have any separate machines it is always recommended to install the certificate authority role on a different server so this is demo environment or test environment so let's proceed to install the certificate authority we have to go to server manager and from here manage add roles and features click on next click on next click next and from the roles we will select certificate not this one the first one active directory certificate services so we have selected this and now click on next and next and also next from here so we want only the certificate authority or cert certificate enrollment using policy web services so you can pick or choose as per your requirement but I am going to select the enrollment web service and web enrollment as well and I think this is fine with me okay web role IAS will be installed on this server and these are the component or the services which will be installed okay and install it so this is going to take some time until then I will pause the video and once the installation is completed I resume the video work so the role and feature is installed now and it is asking to configure Active Directory uh, certificate services on the destination server this is fine let's click on this and it will open up a new wizard from here for Active Directory certificate services configuration okay and this is the domain account Ganesh R and the credentials let's input the credentials firstly so there is no error Ganesh R and the password so the credentials are validated now and let's click on next certificate authority I'll select role services to configure I want this and the certificate authority web enrollment and web services enrollment web services cannot be installed on this computer simultaneously okay and that's fine all these two are fine our goal is to create a template and deploy a LDAP certificate for Kerberos authentication let's click on next and this is the enterprise CA I have prepared uh, videos on enterprise and stand alone CA so if you want to watch or know more about the standalone and enterprise certificate authority you can watch the video so I'm going to install enterprise CA that's fine and click on next and this is the root CA there is no root C available so I will not add as subordinate C so click on next and create a new private key so I do not have any existing private key so I will create a new one okay next and uh, the key length and that is 
2048 and SA 256 this is fine algorithm for the certificate so allow administrator interaction when the private key is accessed by CA so I am leaving it as is click next common name for the CA this is fine test iPhone test let me change the name test iPhone dc1 hyphen ca and distinguished name suffix that is test and dc local that's fine and preview of distinguished name that is this one let's click on next now and specify select the validity period for the certificate generated for certificate authority so five years that is fine but uh, you can select the years as per your environment or organization's recommendations so five years for me this is fine click on next and certificate database location we can select if we have any other drive and that is recommended too but in my case this is just a demo environment so i am fine with any location I click on next now and configure So the configuration has started so it will create the certificate key and other active directory services components okay so configuration succeeded and let's close the wizard and do you want to configure additional roles the server yes okay and i was looking for this role uh, installment web services so last time it not, did not allow so the target server computer name is this and cna name is that's fine configure the certificate enrollment web server for renewal only mode so what is renewal renewal only mode requires that the targeted ce run at least windows server 2008 so i do not need the renewal only mode because my complete infrastructure that is on 2019 and 2022 server based so let's click on next windows integrated authentication So I'm fine with this, but I have uh, two more choice, client certificate authentication or username and password. So Windows integrated authentication is fine. Let's leave it as default and click on next. Specify the service account here. So this is asking for the service account. So the account selected must be a member of uh, so and so group IAS. And if the Kerberos is selected as the authentication type, a service principal name is required for this service account. So I do not have any certificate account. I will use my same account that is having multiple roles assigned. Let's see. This account is not a member of local machine. IAS user that's why a specified user account is not member of a specified group okay so let's check what are the default groups we have not able to find any users so let's search this IAS underscore search with this okay so this is the group for IAS services member I'll add the member can is R you can use the service account for this okay apply okay so this is now member of 
this group let's try one more time okay Kanish R and then password hope it will go successful now Okay, username password incorrect. Let me re enter Kaneshar and my password. Okay, accept it and now click on next. Choose an existing certificate for SSL encryption. And that's fine. Okay, so this is the certificate and let's check out the properties. So this is the certificate is tagged. Let's click on next and configure. So the configuration is also completed. So the certificate authority along with the, the web services, those are installed now and Let's generate a certificate for LDAPs. Open. Uh, the certificate authority from tools. Okay, and this is certificate authority which is recently created and I'll select the certificate templates. And here I have a template. Let's check it out. So this is for client authentication, server authentication and KDC authentication. That's fine. Okay, from here certificate template I could see is it there and let's right click and uh, click on manage and look for the Kerberos authentication and from here we will duplicate this template compatibility okay we will go with only 2016 request and see a database Okay, that's fine. And client recipient is also 20. That's fine. In general, uh, I'll give LDAPs. Yeah. Yes, or LDAP over SSL. Validity is one year. And renewal period publish. Certificate in Active Directory. I leave it as is and request handling. Allow private key to be exported. And sometimes we also need or some service account need to access the private key. So this is fine, key permissions, we can add it later also, renew with, for automatic renewal of a smart card, this is fine, so I'll apply and OK, and let's go back to the certificate template. So add into certificate template, click on new certificate template to issue and from here select the recently created template. Okay and it's here. 
so this template uh, is available now and let's go to the certificate in local computer and here uh, yes this is already issued test dc1 ca this is already issued and uh, let's check for that certificate now request new certificate and click active directory enrollment policy this is fine and if that is success on the certificate template is successfully published uh, it will be listed out over here yes it is there LDAPS enroll and finish so we can see the certificate is generated now and our certificate authority and that is working fine so we can create the templates and deploy to the client machines so this is how we can create the certificate authority or configure it so now uh, the LDAP certificate uh, for Kerberos authentication that is available let's go back and try it out if we have the LDAP certificate available open the same command prompt and we are on the path program files open SSL windows and bin and open SSL we are executing this command so once we hit enter it will generate some certificates here so this is the certificate for LDAP we have to copy it from here until up to end certificate and copy it to any text file okay this is a text file and you can save it in either cr format or dot pem format so apache and uh, other application they support dot pem format so this certificate we can give it to our application team cert dot pm save it also we can save file is exist i am not able to see this is strange let's save it to other location save as downloads or keep path as documents file save and this is saved successfully let's open it out what is there and we can install if required we can install the certificate so let's verify that this is the same certificate what we have so serial number it is starting with 1f and thumbprint ending with dd8 Let's open the certificate details. Check out the thumbprint DD8. 
so this is also the certificate we can export but in most of the cases we will not be able to export from here directly even if you are the domain administrator now let's try it out okay since i am the domain uh, certificate authority administrator that's why i have got the rights otherwise this option comes as grayed out so this is how we can we can generate uh, open ssl certificate uh, from our uh, domain controller for uh, ldap over ssl or ldaps so that's it in this video thanks for watching